Hi, how are you going everyone? In this video, I'll be taking a look at three of the most popular forms of physical and digital assets, cash, gold, and Bitcoin. We'll be discussing the pros and cons of each asset so you can make an informed decision about which one might be right for you. Before I get started though, I thought I'd show you some of the amazing places within walking distance from my workplace in Tokyo. This is Ueno Park. It's home to several museums, including the Tokyo National Museum, the National Museum of Western Art, and the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum, as well as the Ueno Zoo. As you can see, it, is a very, it has a very large pond and a temple, which is dedicated to the goddess of Benten, the goddess of music, art, and wisdom. It is a pretty awesome place to visit, especially in spring, because you can see a lot of amazing cherry blossoms. Okay then, let's get started discussing cash, gold, and Bitcoin, the pros and cons of each. Firstly, cash, the pros. Cash is a widely accepted form of payment, and it's easy to use. The cons, cash is vulnerable to theft and loss, and it's difficult to store in large amounts of cash securely. Additionally, cash is subject to inflation, which means that its value can decrease over time. Government can also control the cash supply through monetary policy, which can lead to inflation. Furthermore, in some countries and regions, cash is increasingly being phased out in favour of digital payments. And some governments are considering the issuance of a central bank digital currency, or CBDC, such as a digital dollar, which could potentially place tighter controls over people's financial transactions. Okay, gold. The pros of gold. Okay, gold has been used to, as a store of value for thousands of years, and it is often considered a hedge against inflation. Gold is also considered a tangible asset that you can hold in your hand, and it can be stored securely. The cons. Gold is relatively heavy and bulky, making it difficult to transport. It also doesn't generate any income and its value can be affected by many factors, including changes of the global economy. Additionally, gold mining can have significant environmental impact. Gold mining operations often use cyanide and other toxic chemicals, which can leach into the environment and pollute water sources. Mining also generates waste and can lead to deforestation and habitat destruction. Extracting gold from the earth requires a significant amount of energy and heavy machinery, which consumes resources and generates pollution and carbon footprint. The process of refining gold and other metals also generates environmental pollution. Let's move on to Bitcoin. The pros. Bitcoin is a digital asset that allows for fast, secure and transparent transactions. It has a limited and predictable supply and its value is determined by demand and market speculation. It is decentralized and not controlled by any government body and offers anonymity for transactions. Additionally, it is very portable and easy to transfer internationally. All you need is your seed phrase and you can access your wealth from anywhere in the world. Many people have viewed Bitcoin mining as harmful to the environment but in recent years, the industry has seen a push towards using renewable energy in mining, which reduces the environmental impact and make mining more sustainable. Some mining companies have been taking advantage of low-cost renewable energy sources, such as hydropower and geothermal, to power their mining operations. This not only reduces the carbon footprint of mining, but also makes it more cost-effective. Cons. Bitcoin is a relatively new technology and it's not widely accepted as a form of payment everywhere. Additionally, it is subject to large price fluctuations, which can make it a risky investment. As a new technology and investment, the regulatory environment for it may not be well developed in some areas. Bitcoin mining consumes a significant amount of energy and is estimated to produce a high carbon footprint due to its computational power required for solving the complex mathematical puzzles. Public sentiment towards Bitcoin may also be negative due to fraudulent activities of centralized companies that have taken people's money. For example, the recent Sam Bankman Freed FTX debacle. This company has currently declared bankruptcy and is accused of commingling its investments with clients' assets on the exchange. 
It's important to note that these fraudulent activities have nothing to do with the technology of Bitcoin itself and are not reflective of its true potential and capabilities. Finally, each of these assets has its own set of pros and cons, and the best one for you will depend on your personal financial situation and investment goals. While cash is great for everyday transactions, its value can decrease over time due to inflation caused by the government control of the cash supply through monetary policy, and it's even possible to be phased out in favour of a digital dollar that could potentially place tighter controls over people's financial transactions. Gold, on the other hand, has been used as a store of value for centuries, but it can be difficult to transport and store, and gold mining can have a significant environmental impact. And finally, Bitcoin is a digital asset that offers fast, secure, transparent, and portable transactions with a decentralized and limited supply. Although this is still a new, highly volatile technology and not yet to be totally accepted uh, or thoroughly proven in our society, but it also has a potential for significant appreciation of value in the future. Okay then, I think that is pretty much a wrap. I, uh, if you would like to add anything on this topic, please do so in the comment section. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a big thumbs up on the way out. Bye for now, everyone.